Matatiahu, or Matthew chapter 1, and Lucas, or Luke chapter 2. The book of the genealogy of Yeshua Messiah, son of David, son of Abraham. Abraham brought forth Yitzhak, and Yitzhak brought forth Yaakov, and Yaakov brought forth Yehuda and his brothers. And Yehuda brought forth Peretz and Zerah by Tamar, and Peretz brought forth Hetzron, and Hetzron brought forth Ram, and Ram brought forth Aminadab, and Aminadab brought forth Nashon, and Nashon brought forth Salmon, and Salmon brought forth Boaz by Rahab, and Boaz brought forth Obed by Ruth, and Obed brought forth Yeshai, and Yeshai brought forth David the Sovereign, and David the Sovereign brought forth Shlomo by Uriah's wife, and Shlomo brought forth Rahabam, and Rahabam brought forth Abia, and Abia brought forth Asa, and Asa brought forth Jehoshaphat, and Jehoshaphat brought forth Yeram, and Yeram brought forth Uziah, and Uziah brought forth Yotham, and Yotham brought forth Ahaz, and Ahaz brought forth Hizkiyahu, and Hizkiyahu brought forth Manasseh, and Manasseh brought forth Ammon, and Ammon brought forth Yoshiahu. And Yoshiahu brought forth Yechaniah and his brothers at the time of the exile to Babel. And after the exile to Babel, Yechaniah brought forth Shealtiel, and Shealtiel brought forth Zerubbabel, and Zerubbabel brought forth Abahud, and Abahud brought forth Abner, and Abner brought forth Eliakim, and Eliakim brought forth Azor, and Azor brought forth Sadak, and Sadak brought forth Akim, and Akim brought forth Elihud, and Elihud brought forth Elazar, and Elazar brought forth Matan, and Matan brought forth Yaakov, and Yaakov brought forth Yosef, the husband of Miriam, of whom was born the Yeshua who is called Messiah. So, all the generations from Abraham to David were 14 generations, and from David until the exile to Babel were 14 generations, and from the exile to Babel until the Messiah were 14 generations. But the birth of Yeshua Messiah was as follows. After his mother Miriam was engaged to Yosef, before they came together, she was found to be pregnant from a set-apart spirit, and Yosef, her husband, being righteous and not wishing to make a show of her, had in mind to put her away secretly. But while he thought about this, see, a messenger of Yehovah appeared to him in a dream, saying, Yosef, son of David, do not be afraid to take Miriam as your wife, for that which is in her was brought forth from a set-apart spirit. And she shall give birth to a son, and you shall call his name Yeshua, for he shall save his people from their sins. And all this came to be in order to fill what was spoken by Yehovah through the prophet, saying, See, an Alma shall conceive, and she shall give birth to a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which translated means El with us. And Yosef, awaking from his sleep, did as the messenger of Yehovah commanded him, and took his wife, but knew her not until she gave birth to her son, the firstborn, and he called his name Yeshua. Lucas chapter 2, verses 1 through 38. 
And it came to be in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus for all the world to be registered. And this took place as a first registration while Quirinius was governing Syria. And all who were going to be registered in each one to his own city. And Yosef also went up from Galil out of the city of Nazareth to Yehuda, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David. He went to be registered with Miriam, who was engaged to him, being pregnant. And it came to be that while they were there, the, day, the days were filled for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him up and laid him down in a feeding trough because there was no room for them in a lodging place. And in the same country, there were shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And look, a messenger of Yehovah stood before him, and the esteem of Yehovah shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. And the messenger said to them, Don't be afraid, for look, I bring you good news of great joy, which shall be to all people. Because there was born to you today in the city of David a Savior, who is Messiah, the Master. And this is the sign to you, you shall find a baby wrapped up, lying in a feeding trough. And suddenly, there was with the messenger a crowd of the heavenly host, praising Elohim and saying, Esteem to Elohim in the highest, and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. And it came to be when the messengers had gone away from them into the heaven that the shepherds said to each other, Indeed, let us go to Bethlehem and see this matter that's taken place, which the masters made known to us. And they came in haste and found Miriam and Yosef and the baby lying in a feeding trough. And having seen, they made known the manner which was spoken to them concerning the child. And all those who heard marveled at what the shepherds said to them. But Miriam kept all these matters concerning them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, boasting and praising Elohim for all they had heard and seen as it was spoken to them. And when eight days were completed for him to be circumcised, his name was called Yeshua, the name given by the messenger before he was conceived in the womb. And when the days of her cleansing, according to the Torah of Moshe, were completed, they brought him to Yerushalayim to present him to Yehovah, as it has been written in the Torah of Yehovah, every male who opens the womb shall be called set apart to Yehovah. And to give an offering according to what is said in the Torah of Yehovah, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. And see, there was a man in Yerushalayim whose name was Shimon, and this man was righteous and dedicated, looking for the comforting of Israel. And the set-apart spirit was upon him, and it had been revealed to him by the set-apart spirit that he would not see death before he sees the Messiah of Yehovah. And he came in the spirit into the set-apart place. And as the parents brought the child, Yeshua, to do for him according to the usual practice of the Torah, then he took him up in his arms and blessed Elohim and said, Now let your servant go in peace, O Master, according to your word, for my eyes have seen your deliverance, which you've prepared before the face of all the peoples, a light for the unveiling of the nations and the esteem of your people Israel. And Yosef and his mother were marveling at what was said about him. And Shimon blessed them and said to Miriam, his mother, See, this one is set for a fall and rising of many in Israel, and for a sign spoken against. And a sword shall pierce through your own being also, so as to reveal the thoughts of many hearts. And 
there was Hannah, a prophetess, a daughter of Penuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years and had lived with a husband seven years from her maidenhood. And she was a widow of about 84 years who did not leave the set-apart place but served Elohim with fastings and prayers day and night. And she, coming in at that moment, gave thanks to Yehovah and spoke of him to all who were waiting for redemption in all Yerushalayim.